Uh, Penn State's a, a very, very good basketball team, um, very tough. So today we uh, did a great job of finally uh, winning a big one today. And, um, you know, having a, a good lead was good because we knew that they can score in bunches, as everybody saw in the second half. Uh, but I thought the key today was getting to the foul line and then being able to go down low when there was like six, uh, they cut it down to six, and then when we were able to uh, do some things, uh, down low and then open some shots up from the outside. Antoine, how much do those two threes kind of get you in the game? It was just a, a confidence booster. Um, I just I just felt it tonight and I just wanted to knock down open shots for my team, so I made them and it worked out. I think in the first half you guys had 12 assists on 13 field goals and the only uh, non-assist was a steal on left by Courtney Pitts. How much did the ball movement kind of open up things on the perimeter? Uh, it, it opened up a lot. I mean, we, we attacked. Um, we found the open uh, shooter. We did a lot of things well, and uh, I think the most of all, we worked together, and we just continued to move. If something broke down, we just kept moving, and we found open shots. Brittany, similarly, did it feel good to hit your first couple there, and, and did you feel like you guys were able to find some openings to get the offense going early? Oh, most definitely. Um, it's always good to hit your first couple, like Ness said, but um, we were finding openings. We knew they'd come out in the zone. And I think that, you know, we were well prepared for it, and, and we showed that. Corey, how much did what you guys did on the defensive end kind of translate into some fast break points and uh, some transition game on the offensive end? Uh, like they always say, your defense turns into your offense. And like that, our defense tonight set the tone for us on our on the offensive end. You talk about your three that banked in. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words for that. <laughs> Brittany, can you just talk about the the team and, and what you guys were sort of saying when they were making their run? They got it down to six there, and just what you guys were able to do to sort of you know stem that a little bit. Um, um, we kept forging forward. We didn't stop playing ball. I mean, we just kept playing, and we had we kept going with our game plan, and we didn't play not to lose. We played to win, and I think that was huge for us. And like Ness said, we stuck together, and um, every time they made a run, we made one right back, and I think that was great. Um, showed great maturity in our team, and it was awesome to see. Coach, just to get uh, Antoinette into the game early to get her get her scoring, how, how big was that? It's always big. I mean, um, Nett's the one that can score the basket, uh, you know, score the ball a lot of different times, and, you know, everybody knows she drives, so we've really been focusing on her 15-foot shot, and if, uh, you know, she hit one three, she's feeling it, she can hit another one. But I thought her 15-foot shots were huge, and then getting to the foul line tonight. Did you feel like, you know, Shan Chantel and Dee Dee and others out there on the perimeter really, you know, sort of frustrated them, especially early on? I really think uh, they started it, Chantel and Dee Dee, and then everyone that subbed in, they just kind of kept that going. And I think that we could throw different athletes, um, whether it's uh, quickness, whether it's uh, a little bit uh, stronger athletes, hopefully to wear them down. But the key was to get, you know, Lucas in foul trouble, and we were able to do that, and they were able to get Brittany in foul trouble. Can you just talk about maybe the job that a couple others did, like I thought Chelsea played good defense and things, and just gave you some some solid minutes? Well, I think that uh, you know we, we just totally stemmed on defense, but Chelsea's smart. She understands. She's physical uh, to keep Green away from the basket more, not getting her deep. Um, she has two hands straight up. She's in great help side, but she's just smart. She knows where the ball needs to be. Uh, she knows when she needs to score. Or needs, she just understands the game probably than any other post. Um, so I thought, you know, the last two games, uh, Chelsea's been really big for us. And I thought Sam O coming off the bench, uh, doing some good things defensively, and then knocking down those short corner shots were huge. You know, she had that confidence. We said, if you're open, shoot them. And I thought she was very effective. Uh, I think they had effective minutes when they were in. Courtney, can you talk about how tough it was out there and how aggressive the play was tonight? Uh, I'm kind of say we knew that they were going to put this uh, press on us, but we had prepared against our guys all week for it, so it wasn't anything new to us, but it was definitely very physical, but as a team, you know, we stuck together and we fight, fought through it. Any other questions? Right, thank you.